We've heard a lot of climate uh, related comments today, but I have heard numbers like 2050. In 2050, I will be nearly 70 years old. Um, it is disappointing that ANZ still continues to fund fossil fuels and does not allow the ruling out of such um, financing. In the latest floods, I was affected. As a, a, a blind person, as I've already said, going through a natural disaster is hideous. The changing level of information when the water is rising through these natural disasters, which will ever in increasing and will continue to put our lives at risk, continue this. Remember this when you are continuing to fund this. As our streets get hotter, you do not enable the use of people who are blind to walk around with their canes and dog guides. Once it reaches 40 degrees, guide dogs cannot go outside because their paws um, get hurt by the um, ground because it is so hot. So think about the livelihoods and the risks that ANZ continue to deny by funding thank, th thank fossil you. fuels. Thank you, Mr. Donahue, and thank you for uh, making the journey to be with us today and for making sure that the voice of the disability community is heard. Uh, just to clarify, we do set the pathway targets I've been talking about and uh, referring to uh, to 2030. So we're not waiting till 2050 to be accountable for what we do. Uh, we are working to 2030. And look, we've got disagreements on how we get there, but we're trying to get at the same place as you and Kyle and others are, which is we're trying to reduce emissions. We're trying to get there consistent with the targets set by the Paris Agreement. And we believe that what we're doing will help Australia get there faster. But thank you. We uh, acknowledge your comments and appreciate you making the effort. To and be here. the last comment I will say is it's been uh, really um, exciting to be here and it's been eye opening to me um, to see how these board meetings work. And I think the more um, people with disability you can get into board rooms, the more decisions and diversity your organisations can be. Thank you. And, and a great way to make sure we are looking after our customers with disability is indeed to reflect it internally. In our last survey, roughly just over 4% of our own staff have registered as having a disability. We're working with the disability advocacy organizations to equip our managers to be better at recruiting and working with people who've got some form of disability. Last year, we recruited just under 200 people who said they had a disability. So I completely endorse your comment. We need to find ways in which all Australians can be represented and participate in organisations like ANZ right up to the board. So thank you.